a gang of violent Central American migrants were caught trying to enter the United States illegally. They won't be applying for asylum anytime soon. Texas Border Patrol agents have arrested a group of 39 migrants attempting to enter the United States illegally, with many of the illegal immigrants having criminal histories that include convictions for homicide, convictions to child rape, convictions to sexual crimes against children. Three of those arrested in the Rio Grande Valley sector are also known members of violent gangs like MS-13 and um, 18th Street. The, new follows, the news follows an announcement from the U.S. Homeland Security that the migrant caravan that's amassed on the other side of a San Diego border crossing is harboring over 500 criminals. DHS officials made the revelation during a conference call with reporters, asserting that most of the caravan members are not women and children. All right, it looks like we have a tweet here. Secret, uh, sec, Kristen Nielsen. All right, CBP and Department of Defense appropriately responded by blocking the lanes, deploying additional personnel, and seeking assistance from other law enforcement and federal assets. CPB has reopened lanes for legitimate trade and travel. I want to thank them for their swift actions. That revealed one of the men to be a member of the MS-13 gang. In addition to three of the members of violent gangs who were arrested after illegally entering the U.S., agents also apprehended several illegal immigrants with criminal convictions. McAllen Station agents apprehended a Salvadorian national on November 12th near the border town of Mission, Texas. A records check of the man's background revealed an arrest and conviction in Washington, D.C. for sexual abuse of a child or minor. The Salvadorian man received a jail sentence of 180 days prior to being removed from the United States. That same day, other agents assigned to the McAllen Station apprehended a Guatemalan man near the border town of Sullivan City, Texas. During processing, the agents learned that the illegal immigrant has a record of arrest and conviction for a sexual offense in Los Angeles County, California. The 2016 conviction for levicious acts with a child Oh, no, another pedophile. Levicious acts with a child earned the illegal alien a one-year jail sentence. That always boggles me. Levicious acts with a child, you only get one year in prison? To me, that's just like the most, I mean, murder and that, those are just two horrific crimes. And sometimes I read about these pedophiles receiving very light sentences. And I'm like, man, the, you know, people are going, not here in California, but... People were locked up and are still serving time for like things like marijuana. And then you have somebody that is a predator to children only receiving like four months in jail. It's unbelievable. Two days earlier, agents patrolling near mission. Stop messing around, please. Thank you very much. So Texas border agents arrested a group of violent criminals from Central America. Two days earlier, agents patrolling near Mission came upon a Mexican national with a previous arrest by the Grant County Sheriff's Office in Washington. The arrest led to a conviction on a charge of rape of a child. The Mexican man received a jail sentence of nine months from the court in Grant County. So he raped a, a kid, raped a child, got nine months. I mean, to me, it seems like those people, that's very, very wrong. And you're receiving less than a year? There's people that are doing way more time for drugs and